Alrighty, guys. We've got it. Micah's game preview. Alpha 3.6 in dev. Um, we are going to run this. Um, alpha 3.6. Pretty interesting. And I just finished it up today. Um, I've reworked all of the code. Well, not really reworked. I've reworked some aspects that need reworked. I reworked the particles. And... The lighting system I had, it was a highly advanced lighting system, and it caused a performance drop. So I've basically increased the FPS by 1000, basically. Even though it was in the thousands, it's now like running at like around 2000 FPS. <laughs> uh, kind of crazy, but it was a highly advanced lighting system with a lot of features I wasn't going to use. And, um,. Yeah, so I just decided to ditch it and kind of make it with my own. And this is actually an installer, so I'm going to go through and actually install it instead of just making a zip file. Just kind of get the user experience. I've done this before, but I'm just going to do it again. And I'll block out any sensitive information, so without further ado, let's go. Um, let's just find a folder. Install and boom. There we go. Completed. I guess it's gonna run this. It has a super long title, so I, I. There. There's a little start sound I made. And as you can see, it may be like, hmm, it kind of looks the same, but let me pull up an older thing. An older build. This is an old build. As you can see, the old build. Actually, I'll make this bigger. It was a lot brighter. The lights were pretty big. The light that the torches casted. And I think down here is like a completely dark room. Now this used to bug me. I used to think, oh, this is so dark, but I've, I've gone for a bit darker look. Oh. My computer did not like that. Oh, just just revealed a secret by accident. Part of the new particle system. Uh, it's not really a new particle system. It's just improved and optimized. Um, yep. This is the new lighting system. As you can see, the lighting is animated. And if I, hold on, let's go to this dark room over here. Watch the explosion. That's right. I'll do it a million times. We've got colored lights. That looks a bit green. It's just how the colors interact. Um, but it's, as you can see, it's like a yellow, more orange. But when they're stacked on top of each other, it looks more green. But um, yes. Now there are a few uh, secrets I did in this that I'm not going to show to all of you, but I'll show you some of the new particles and then we're going to compare performance. Now obviously I put Linux on my crappy laptop so I can't really, um, I can't really, um, show you the performance on that, but I had, I videoed it with my phone and it was pretty terrible performance on that crappy laptop. Yeah. As you can see, those, the, you see, saw some of the old particles, didn't you? Here, I'll blow them up again. Look. Yeah. See those little, those little jibs? I'm calling them jibs because I heard they come from the word giblet. So if you say gib, I mean, I don't want to start a debate, but that that's just what I'm calling it. Because it comes from giblets. Um, but you can see those little jibs. And then you see something kind of running down the screen. I'll show you what that is. Let me get the zombie to hit me. As you can see... That is a new particle type uh, called blood. 
In fact, the the jibs uh, <laughs> used to be called blood. Then I'm like, hey, it's it's not really blood. It's more like chunks of meat. So I renamed them and made a new blood particle. And it was pretty complex to set up. Like, I have some behind the scenes footage of getting these little torch particles that you just saw there. I, I have some behind the scenes footage, but doing the blood drip is like 10 times harder. Oh, I just got a text, hold on. Let's compare performance from an older version. Gotta turn my phone on silent. <laughs> Let's compare performance to an older version. Wait, wrong one. I need one older than that. We will get in the exact same corner on both builds. And I'll push this one up. And let's compare. Which one do you think is darker? I think they're actually the same level of dark. If you ask me. Maybe this one's a bit brighter. This still has the old lag cursor. Um, yeah, I'd say they're about the same levels of brightness, but I feel the new version looks a lot darker, mainly because the light that is casted from the torches simply isn't su such a huge radius. In fact, this is bigger than you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna reveal the ins and outs of this system. But, this is what I've done. I've boosted performance, oh. Okay, here's a performance boost. As you can see, the FPS up here, it's, it's, you know, I just saw it dip to like 400, not that bad. But it's maintaining a steady rate around the 1000s, I'd say. But then, look at this. The lowest I see this dipping is like the 1000s. And the highest I see it going is 2000s. So, we have a pretty big performance boost in the game right now. The TPS uh, is staying at a constant 60. What about this one? Yeah, it's, it's it dips down, but I was going out of the window. Let's see what that one is. Yeah, this one dipped down, but overall, I would say we've made some. Oh, that, that got down to 52. I'd say, all in all, this is a pretty good improvement. And even though it's not really darker, the fact that the lighting is smaller gives the game a more dark tone and um, I feel that that really improves it and I'm just gonna tell you guys uh, a little feature I've had planned for a little bit uh, this wouldn't really work with the old lighting system but I can see it working with the new one what if the player had like a torch they could carry around hope you enjoyed this just a little sneak peek look at what is going on in terms of game development. Um, so it is now back up to where I hope it would be. New lighting system, pretty exciting. Colored lights that I can do pretty easily um, and control a lot easier. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, bye bye See you in the next one.